there are many different sources of energy. How many can you name? Sources of energy include burning coal, oil, gas and biomass, solar, hydroelectric, tidal, wind, muscle power, geothermal, nuclear fusion and fission. Most of these come from the sun. Photosynthesis uses energy from sunlight to help plants build up biomass and put oxygen into the atmosphere. Our fossil fuels are ancient biomass, which rejoin with the oxygen when we burn them, putting the greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere, which in turn has led to global climate change. So we are trying to phase out the burning of fossil fuels and rely on replenishable sources instead. Most replenishable energy sources use energy directly or indirectly from the sun through eating and respiring food, burning harvested biomass, wave power, hydroelectricity, solar panels and wind turbines. All these derive their energy from sunlight arriving on our planet. Let's have a closer look at each of them. Winds are caused by the heating effect of the sun and waves on the sea are caused by these winds. Using machines that bob up and down in the waves, this energy can be transferred by an electric current to be used in our homes. Hydroelectric energy is generated when water is evaporated by sunlight and dropped as rain onto the mountains. The water is stored behind dams, so has potential energy. As the water rushes out, it drives turbines connected to generators and the electric current carries the energy to our homes. The Earth gets energy transferred by heat and light from the sun all the time. The sun's energy can either be used to generate electricity to use in our homes with the help of solar cells, photovoltaic panels, or used to heat water for our homes using solar panels. The uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun creates winds. Using wind turbines, we can transfer the kinetic energy of the wind to electric current, which we can then use in our homes. However, there are some energy sources that are not derived from the daily input of the energy from the sun. These are geothermal, tidal and nuclear. Deep underground, the Earth's rocks are naturally very hot. We can use this thermal energy to generate steam in a power station, thus using an electric current to transfer energy to use in our homes. We call this geothermal energy. The tides are caused by the gravitational attraction of the moon and also the sun on our oceans as the Earth rotates. The energy comes from the kinetic energy of the Earth rotating, which is very gradually slowing down. At high tide, the water is trapped behind a dam and as it flows out at low tide, electricity is generated. Finally, for our non-solar energy sources, there is nuclear fission, which supplies over 10% of global electricity. Unlike burning fossil fuels, nuclear power doesn't release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, but there are issues of storage of radioactive waste. Currently, we are researching how to use nuclear fusion, the reaction that powers our sun. A renewable energy resource is one that is being or can be replenished as it's used. So of the energy sources we've looked at, which are replenishable and which are non-replenishable? Pause the video while you think. Some energy resources are more reliable than others. When might it not be possible to use solar power? During the hours of darkness, of course. What about wave power? When might that not provide much energy? During calm seas. Trends in use of energy sources are changing. For many years, non-renewable sources of energy were more used, mainly for their reliability. However, burning fossil fuels is associated with climate change. Carbon dioxide is produced when fuels are burned and increased levels of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere are associated with increased mean global temperatures. We are seeing everywhere the extremes of weather caused by global warming and climate change. Even school students are taking action because the adults running the world are not phasing out fossil fuels fast enough. Hopefully, 
we are beginning to use energy more efficiently and continuing to develop replenishable energy sources.